Hi, my name is Anshal Dhara. I'm a photographer and a walker. Um, walking in my life uh, started at, a, at an early age. My parents used to make me walk a lot. Um, from there, uh, where I was forced to walk, to uh, a place where I would walk to save money when I had uh, just started working and um, to a hobby, to a passion. That's what walk has become for me now. I used to swim. Uh, that's the only activity I had in my life and uh, monsoons happened and I realized I wanted to give swimming a break. So what do you do if you're not swimming? Okay, I'll walk. And uh, walking was, uh, I, I really liked it because it was flexible. I could walk at 6 in the morning, 7 in the evening, 11 at night, it really did not matter. So when I started uh, walking by choice, it was, uh, it was quite nice. Uh, fortunately, my, my building was, uh, had a very pretty back road and I would just get off my building and then there was this huge road with all kinds of people walking in the evening and that really helped because you know you get inspired when you see people and all that um, and I was really enjoying my walk and I would listen to music and it was really 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 uh, brilliant I don't know how one fine day monsoon I was walking in the rain when I just got an idea that I should walk from Bombay to Goa so I went up uh, spoke to my husband told him I want to walk from Bombay to Goa as into as he is about life I, he he in no time figured out the route from Bombay to Goa the distance and told me okay you have to walk 500 plus kilometers and we'll do this in so many days and this and that but uh, he's also a little practical so he suggested me to see a physiotherapist we went both of us went to see Dr. Nikhil Latte who's one of the best in the country and is also uh, Prashant's friend we went to see him and um, he looked at me, uh, called me a psycho and uh, gave me a very good advice and actually suggested me to walk from Bombay to Pune instead of Bombay to Goa first because considering my history which was, uh, like I said, I'm, I hadn't done any other adventure sports activity before that or any kind of activity before that besides swimming, he, uh, he, he suggested me to first check my strengths and weaknesses to see how my body reacts to a long distance walk, um, 150 odd kilometers from Bombay to Pune. Training wise, I would walk um, 20, 15 to 20 kilometers a day. Uh, 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening before the Pune walk and uh, Dr. Nikhil Lati actually gave me some really good tips. One of the best tip that, that, that I found was uh, to take care of my legs. He said, take care of your legs and your legs will take care of you. I had developed uh, runner's toe. I had my, my, my big toe, my left leg, foot's big toe was coming out of the toe bed and uh, I was quite scared and that happened just before the walk. He saw it, he said, it's, it's nothing that bad. Uh, just walk and take care of your feet. So during the walk from Bombay to Pune, we made sure that we stopped every five or seven kilometers and massaged our feet properly uh, with petroleum jelly. Just rest for 10 to 15 minutes and start again. And I drank lots and lots of water. I ate pretty well. And um, yeah, and I, I obviously rested and slept a lot between the walks. Um, however, though it started at a, as a hobby, it, it, it really became a personal challenge for me. Um, it suddenly became, it just gave me some purpose in life. Um, obviously you want to do different things in life, but suddenly I started to see a calendar in front of me. I, I would see, um, I would see a date. I would see that this is the date I'm walking on and this is the route I'm taking. Everything was everything was right in front of my eyes. Um, I'm a very, very, very impatient person. I need everything immediately. And here I was, I had chosen the slowest, apparently the slowest spot in the world, walking. I wanted to walk from Bombay to Pune. Uh, uh, how, how does an impatient person do that? And that's what I was doing. And it really, really, really taught me to be patient. It really made me uh, slow down in life a little. Um, it made me, it, it, it was really difficult initially, but it really made me live in the moment. That was so very important because you're walking from Bombay to Pune, it's 150 odd kilometers. You're starting from, you're starting day one, you'll reach there on the seventh day and you have 
you can't do anything about it because that's the commitment you've made and 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 no matter what you do you're walking 30 kilometers a day you have to do that what do you do live in the moment so so you know they were these these exp these simple things were really life changing for me um the people i met on the way the things i saw on the way something as small as a beautiful cobweb on a wall which we would have otherwise not even noticed if i was in a car um or 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 like i said people that i met it was it was so beautiful i remember we met this um on dehu road somewhere there was no restaurant there was nothing we could we could eat but finally we found this very small very shady restaurant and we um, sat sat inside and the waiter was forcing us to sit in the family room we went in the family room it was very claustrophobic so we did not want to sit in the family room and and we said you know what bhaiya we will sit outside he said nahi madam main jata hu aap andar hi baitho kyunki na bahar बाहर एरिया है अजीब तरह के लोग आएंगे एंड देन आई डोंट वांट एनीवन टू यू नो आई डोंट नो आई वाज टस्ट बिकॉज ही वाज दिस 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 मैन हु डिड नॉट नो मी हु डिड नॉट नो माय हस्बैंड हु डिड नो हु वी वर व्हाट वी वर डूइंग एंड जस्ट डिड नॉट वांट अस टू सिट इन द ओपन एरिया एंड वी इट वाज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल एक्सपीरियंसेस बिकॉज देयर आर गुड पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड एंड दैट्स वन ऑफ द Roots. Uh, there's this another experience of this um, this man whose job was just to blow whistle and attract uh, gadi walas to the dhaba, and uh, he had a very very peculiar face, a very very character face, and I don't know why, but I really felt like talking to him. I sat with him, and uh, his name was Tejas, and he sat on a wrong bus from Nagpur and ran out of money, and he was working in the in that dhaba. Um, just to earn some money so he could go back home so he was this family man who was who just lost his way or who just came to this dhaba by chance and had nothing else to do and so he accepted what he was doing and he started working and now he would he would go back home whenever he's you know his he has he has the money and it made me think will i ever do that will i be that spontaneous in life because so much are we um busy with our lives and so rigid are our, our lives that that I don't know if I can or anyone else who I know can be as spontaneous as they just is. People like these who were so beautiful at heart and so smiling that it just just made my walk a more than more than just a plain walk. On my third day I was walking and we saw somebody throwing a water bottle an empty water bottle out of the car and uh, I don't know why but it really pinched us so we decided that we would pick up empty bottles on the way third day onwards third to seventh day we picked up bottles we collected around 250 uh, bottles and that was a uh, a you know it just felt like you i've given back to the country and and to the environment so that was a brilliant experience again uh, throughout my walk my husband was there in his car um driving 5 kilometers per hour uh following me uh, throughout the uh, you know throughout the way and that was that was brilliant because like i said it wouldn't have been it, it wasn't impossible but it would have been slightly it would have been difficult if this if he wasn't there so this was a joint attempt and it 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 was really brilliant and i think in future not really far away very soon we are going to walk bombay to goa um that's another challenge we've given to ourselves from my hobby the walk has become a way of life it's made me patient i cannot spend like how i cannot uh sleep without brushing my teeth now i cannot finish my day without walking that's what walking has become i need to think of an if i want to think of an idea i go walk if i have stomach ache i take a walk if i have a fight i take a walk that's what walk has become for me bombay to goa will happen soon it's not a hobby anymore it's just a challenge we just want to push ourselves we just want to see that we can and i know we will thank you